Hello everybody! I hope you are doing well. And if you are thirsty, you can drink from nice Zelda cup. If you are sitting in Canada, maybe you already know what I am going to talk about. The strange story of three Zelda cups. It's so strange and pellicular that it's difficult to tell what actually happened. So let me tell you a corporate fairy tale of three Zelda cups instead. Sit tight and listen well. Let's start. Once upon a time, in a far, far away country known as Canada, there was a popular game, The Legend of Zelda. Together with her two brothers, Mario and Pokemon. She was a treasured daughter of the old king Nintendo. Zelda was so adorable and so loved that no matter how many times did she put on the same old clothes, they were flocking from far and wide to see her yet again. Especially those Canucks had soft spot when it comes to pretty princess. Old King Nintendo knew this and he was choosing well who she can flirt with. Only the finest corporations with the deep enough pockets could borrow her name in order to do merchandising. And so it happened that just days before showing her old awakening robe with new shiny colors, a worldwide retailer visited her father. This was nobody else than the owner of 7-Eleven franchise. The very same one that managed to close a good half of those stores in Canada within past two years in the name of Sacred Profit. He was troubled as sales of slushies were more than a half less than what it used to be two years ago. So he needed some help from beautiful Zelda. King Nintendo agreed as 7-Eleven was rich enough to pay for the time of his daughter. It was agreed that only those polite Norse igloo dwellers would get the opportunity to sip their slushies from 20 cents cup instead of the 10 cents. The big idea, of course, was to use them as a bite so that people would rush and buy more slushies in the hopes to win new Switch that doesn't switch but now only costs as much as an Xbox One or PS4. 7-Eleven, in his wisdom, chose the old Canadian post together with her son Purelighter in order to deliver these caps. That way it was certain that all shops will get them evenly and at the same time, at least according to the quantum physics theory. Being a big fan of improvisation, 7-Eleven made sure that the proper information about this operation was delivered with the speed of the governmental of that way he could find out which of his employees could see into the bright future. At first nothing much happened. Canadian Post, just as expected, delivered the cups without any prom posters. Faithful employees displayed them, but otherwise they didn't have the faintest idea what the heck was going on. Then few fans passed by 
and notice this incredible drinkware. One of them got the idea to put it on Reddit, a place where you would go if you wanted to find out what was going on in the mind of a big corporation, but you were lacking proper mind reading skills. That post was like a wildfire. At first it was barely noticeable, but then more and more pictures of cups were appearing, until it caught attention of eBay predators. Suddenly, just within a few days, the cups had become the new holy cow. They were sold out very fast and they were nowhere to be found because it was a good idea to have a promo event until November when your main promo tools were sold out during the first two weeks of September. Of course, just like with the other promo things, the hype of the cups would slowly die down. And that is the end of the fairy tale of three Zelda cups. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a like. You can also subscribe and don't forget to comment about this nice corporate fairy tale. See you next time. Bye.